Hello, I'm Tortor Smith. I'm a stop motion animator and creative entrepreneur. Welcome to this Halloween themed tutorial on how to sculpt a maggot. <laughs> So to be able to sculpt a maggot what you're going to need is some plasticine. I use Nuplast. I think it's a really good brand and it's never let me down. It's got a good amount of malleability and you can mix colours as you're seeing here. So to make a maggot, maggots are a kind of yellowish colour. They're not bright yellow, they're kind of creamy yellow. So I'm mixing white and yellow together to achieve a kind of creamy yellow maggot like colour. Now, plasticine can be quite firm, but as soon as you start moulding it between your hands, it will get warmer and soften up quite quickly. So if you're struggling to combine colours together, just persevere, roll it around in your hands, and before you know it, you will have a consistent creamy yellow colour. Now, I'm just pulling off a piece around the size of a maggot, and here you can see I'm rolling it out into a sort of maggot shape. It's a cylindrical shape, and they have a bit of a pointed tail, so I'm just tapering down the end. Now, it was a little bit too big, so I've pulled a chunk off there. Um, nice thing about plasticines, it's very flexible. Uh, to add some detail on my maggot, I'm using just a normal household pin, as you can see here, and basically... It's the most cheapest and one of the best tools in my opinion. Here you can see I am making lines around the body of the maggot. This is to create the sections of a maggot. If you watch a maggot moving, you'll see that it has a kind of textured skin made of rings and this is what I am achieving by rolling a pin around the edge of the maggot's body. Now, sometimes plasticine gets stuck on the pin, so there you can see I'm cleaning it off. And now I'm going to use a slightly different tool. Uh, you can buy these tools. I have put a link in the description box. They're made by a firm called Amtec, who also coincidentally made the cutting mat that you can see in this video. And they are very affordable. Uh, best value I've seen anywhere. So I highly recommend them. Basically, I'm using this tool to enlarge the rings around the body of the maggot. So I'm just pulling them out slightly it gives the maggot a bit more flexibility as you can see here it means that i'm able to bend it into all sorts of different wiggly maggot shapes now if you look closely at a maggot's head you will also notice that there's a little bit of dark on the face i don't know whether it is an actual face but just to add a bit of reality i'm putting a small amount of brown plasticine on the head end of the maggot and hopefully this will make it seem more realistic. And well, that's pretty much it. Now you have your maggot. And if you would like to know how to animate a maggot moving realistically, you can look at my next video on how to animate a maggot. And here's a little preview to see if you're interested in learning how to do that. <laughs> Thank you.